never been. So welcome to the Hughes' ninth annual pie night. Good morning. Are we all having a Halloween hangover? Cause I am. Check this out. I dropped the kids off at school in my muumu, my camo jacket, and boots. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, and I woke up to the sounds of Christmas music playing. Derek has Christmas fever, and I love the man for it. <laughs> good morning, friends. It's the day after Halloween. Woo, am I feeling it today. <laughs> Well, I'm leaving with the girls this morning and we are going shopping. No really a point other than to get after Halloween sales. Um, yesterday was Denise's birthday, so today we're gonna go out and play. Everyone has the day off. So we're gonna go play with Denise, have birthday lunch, and go hit the after Halloween sales. So that's what I'm doing today and I'm not gonna feel guilty about it at all. <laughs> all right, I've even started um, gathering up some of my Halloween decorations, putting them on the table, because I am going to put this stuff away tonight and tomorrow. Um, we have pie night this weekend, so I need to get the house. I need Halloween to leave the house and fall to come in for just a couple of weeks, and then we'll put Christmas up. So, that is what I'm doing today. You guys are not going to believe what Denise and I just scored for 20 bucks. Yeah. See this shelf? I'm going to show you a picture in just a second. Okay, this shelf is normally $179.99 and I am getting it today for $20. Holy cow, you guys. And it folds up. And it's metal. It folds up and the sides come in. How awesome is that? And then down the road, I'm going to um, spray this white but it's a metal shelf and it's stunning. Field trip! First time, never been. Okay friends, uh, me and my girlfriends just went to Trader Joe's. We're here now, I have never been here. Tell me what I need to look at, what we need to eat, what we need to buy. First time, please help me. Okay, so far you guys have said to try the everything but the bagel seasoning and that's what we're doing and as I was grabbing this old lady started grabbing like a ton of them. I guess she's giving that as Christmas gifts this year so apparently this stuff's really good here at Trader Joe's. So I took to Instagram and asked you guys like what to buy here at Trader Joe's and you guys said that they'll let you taste anything. And so we're Denise asked someone. Yeah, the girls asked and they're for real. And that fall harvest salsa. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I know, we don't do this is what we're tasting. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I'm definitely buying one. Okay, see if you like it, Denise. I'm preheating I'm excited. Okay. Don't turn that back. I won't. There is that one. Yeah? A sweet potato. Tortilla chips with um, the... Fall harvest salsa. Fall harvest yeah. salsa. So it has pumpkin, squash, apples. Mmm, it doesn't taste like baby food. No, this ain't your mom's baby food. All right, I'm going in. Yeah, it's good. Okay, I'll bring some of that home to Derek. Derek will like that. Well, we got some goodies. That was fun. Lunch. We're eating our feelings. We are eating our feelings. We couldn't find anything good. This year they decided to set out Halloween later and then they had sales earlier. Oh, none of, nothing today. Everything was yesterday and the day before. I got one flower. <laughs> she got a stem. One. It was a black lily with a snake in it. And they had one. So I got one of those at my home. With no price tag. It had no so, price like, tag. They just made up a number. Sure, but I was grateful. Cents. I was really grateful for it. Are you sure? I'm a pretty grateful. <laughs> <laughs> I got what I wanted though. Yeah. So yes, you, yes. But, but Trader Joe's was that awesome. Was that was awesome. Highlight. Highlight. Huge highlight. So we're going to eat our feelings. 
and then go back home and be awesome moms and hot wives. Yeah, watch out there. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, friends, here is my little and first Trader Joe's haul. Now, I got things that you all recommended. Well, pretty much everything you guys recommended. Um, but someone said that the cornbread is a must, so I grabbed that. I'm gonna try their beer bread mix. And of course, all of you were like, everything but the bagel sesame. The fall harvest salsa, that was delicious. Oh, the pumpkin chai spice loaf, that was amazing. I'm gonna try this during our meal plan this week, the Thai yellow curry sauce. Now, you all said the cookie butter or the crunchy cookie butter, so I was like, well, let's get both then. I can't decide. And their spiced cider. Oh my goodness, this was delicious. And then the sweet potato tortilla chips made with corn and sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna try the pumpkin tortilla chips. And there's um, pumpkin puree, pumpkin seed, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So this is interesting, so I'm gonna snack on that. But that's my little mini, mini, mini Trader Joe's haul. Cook dinner with me, I'm gonna make baked garlic Parmesan chicken. In a shallow dish, blend two tablespoons of olive oil to two garlic cloves. In a separate shallow dish, we're gonna mix one cup of dry breadcrumbs, two thirds cup Parmesan cheese grated, one teaspoon dried basil, and some salt and pepper. I am using chicken thighs tonight, so I dipped the chicken in the oil mixture and then the breadcrumbs, put them in a greased nine by 13 pan, and then I topped it with the remaining breadcrumbs. Bake for 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven until the chicken is no longer pink and the juices run clear. Okay, I'm cooking up some asparagus and I'm gonna try the seasoning from Trader Joe's. Everything but the bagel, sesame. All right, let's put some of this on there and um, see how it goes. And we're also with dinner, having um, from Costco, the Mediterranean Crunch Chop Salad. It is so good. There's romaine, chicory, broccoli, cauliflower, flatbread strips, red cabbage, feta cheese, and carrots, and basil balsamic vinaigrette. So I am gonna, I'm gonna open up this package and get that all in there. Mmm, the asparagus tastes so good with that seasoning. Oh my gosh. And here, here is the chicken. Mmm. Baked garlic parmesan chicken. Yeah. I love this with the chicken thighs. Oh, you guys, so good. Make this for dinner. You will not be disappointed. It's a sad day when you have to put Halloween away. Time for Christmas! I know, Derek is so excited. We woke up to Christmas music this morning. I can't do Christmas. Not until after. Not until after this weekend. Oh, I hate waiting. Well, fall's going up, honey. And you have to give the turkey like a day. It does. I'm going to have fall up for a couple of weeks. With so. some Christmas. So this cauldron we snagged um, for the after Halloween sales. 20 bucks, it was normally 80. And um, yeah, that was a great find today. So I gotta get all this stuff. I started taking down things in the kitchen and I'll take down all of this and my Halloween village and get it all put away so we could put out fall decorations and then Christmas. Did you turn off my Christmas music this morning? It was off when I came out here. Oh really? Yeah. Yep. So I did. First thing, turn on the Christmas music. It's the day after Halloween. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh gosh, I love my Halloween, but I hate putting it away. Good morning. I'm just making Jonah and I some breakfast. We're the only ones home today. And check this out. <laughs> this is my life right now. 
And we have pie night here tomorrow night. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I started packing up the village. That's the bin that the village is in. And then some of the village is going to be in this bin. That tombstone that I never put out this year um, is quite big. So he fits in there like that. But I got to fit like the basis to my village. So like that's part of the base I used this year. And I bought another base at Michael's for 80% off. So um, that way if I end up doing this shelf or doing something different, I have some more bases and uh, that I could put somewhere else around the house for super cheap. So that is off. It was on here. I vacuumed it up. And now I can put my fall decorations out. Uh, Jonah is cleaning his room. He does not want to clean his room and it's so bad. He gets super overwhelmed. He is getting 30 minutes of doing whatever he wants. Timer goes off. 20 minutes back in his room cleaning. 30 minutes out playing. 20 minutes back in his room and he's doing it. He's setting the alarm. He's got his music. He's jamming. You just got to find that thing that works for your kids and sometimes it takes a long time to figure out what it is but today and like tomorrow this cannot work but right now this is working and he's got his music on he's doing it I'm proud of him and here is Halloween not counting my big cauldron my music stand and my posters those go somewhere else but here it is I can't find the cover to this bin if I if it's gone um, then I will get the exact measurements of this bin and go get another one at Walmart but um, but this is Halloween holy cow I think it is now caught up to Christmas whoa mm, dinner tonight we're having pasta uh, my Italian gravy that I make and we have basil pesto and I have salad and asparagus and that is dinner tonight we're taking the covers off our couch to give them a good wash. And of course, vacuuming in the couch. Okay, here's the day that you, a lot of you have been waiting for. A lot of you are like, wait, it's pie night. Well, it is tonight, Saturday night, and we're getting ready. So let me show you what we do for pie night. We have a guest book, and we have kept this going for nine years. This is our ninth year. People come, they put their name and the pie that they're bringing. Big year last year. So they sign in. I usually have tabs that they write the name of the pie and we put it next to it, but I couldn't find my tabs, and I just thought, screw it this year. So they'll play a guessing game with the pies. So they come in, <laughs> sign the book, and put them on the table. Um, Derek, I need the water jug from the basement. Gotcha. I'm okay. Gonna change my clothes first. So I can buy okay. Um, yeah. So everyone, this is the setup that we have going on right here. So we moved the table over here from the entry where I put the TV on it, and this is that cabinet that I bought, and we just did this for right now for decorations. I think it'll work for right now. It looks pretty. And here's where they grab their plates, their silverware, and napkins, sign the book, and come get pie. I still have to put the water out. Derek's gonna go get the jug. I just grabbed lemons and limes, and then um, I bought Ready Whip, and I'll put that out. So that's pie night. It is an easy, easy party to put together. Everyone brings a pie. You just clean your house and put out water and plates and forks, and bam, pie night. So okay, let's get ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> Derek is catching up on the BYU game and we are cleaning up from pie night oh thank you the last guest just left it's 10 o'clock it's 10 15 we're just cleaning up the pies and everything so this was probably our smallest pie night um, this was our first year and this was this year so um, our neighborhood has changed so much like a lot of people have moved out that and a lot of new people in 
and they just haven't learned about it. So it's like a crazy, and we had a feeling. We had a feeling that this year would be small. Um, we didn't invite the YouTube community this year. Um, we're gonna do something different with them, but um, so it was definitely different this year for sure. But here's the pies that we had. We had Razzleberry, Lemon Lush, Lemon Meringue, Chocolate Chip, Coconut Custard, um, we had this really yummy dessert. It was in a casserole dish that was called President Kimball's favorite dessert. And it was like a crust with chocolate and I want to say banana and this cream on top. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's yummy. It was good. Apple crisp, banana cream, and yeah. So it was a yummy, yummy night. Um, nice and chill, um, which I kind of liked, didn't you? Because we actually got to talk to people. Like in the years past when the house was like so full, it was hard to like connect with everybody. So the little intimate setting this year was quite nice. So every year is different. Like every year is absolutely different. And that's like one of the exciting things about Pine Night. So that was Pine Night 2017. Uh, Heather just left. We had so much fun talking with her. And one of my young women that I used to teach, um, she's 22. She's been married for six or nine, mo nine months, she said. And so I got to catch up with her, and so it was a good night. It was a good time talking with Heather, so. Um, oh my goodness, you wanna see what Heather got me? So she got this house, and it lights up! Ah, it's like gonna pack that from in my village, how cute. So her birthday is next Saturday. She's turning 40. And, uh, but she will be here on Friday for our friends giving, so. It'll be a good time. She's gonna try to get here early so we could film something together. So stay tuned for my friend Heather. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. I hope you liked today's vlog. There's a bit of like a few days of the weekend um, and the week and the weekend. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> I love that.